know, I feel for drugs and for all, all types of different types of lifestyle. And you guys right now are celebrating the lives of yourselves and of your kids. And, and just, man, pay for those that are in need, though. They're your family members that couldn't make it. The ones you invited that couldn't make it. The ones that are out there on the streets calling you guys. And maybe you guys are answering their phone call because they're, they're, they're just too crazy for you. Man, pay for them. Because they love you. Because they need you. If they didn't need you, they wouldn't call you. And God put them on this earth because they, because God wants you to help them. That's just how it is. That's just how it goes. Jesus Christ. Because each and every single one of us got something in common here. We all got a family member, a friend, an enemy that's hurting. And that's the common denominator right there. Is, 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 there, is there we need to love each other. Because that's the most powerful driving force in this world. That's love. For God so loved the world, he said his only begotten son. That he who believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ. We got a white SUV blocking the neighbor's driveway. <laughs> Mike, I think that's your car, bro. <laughs> Move your car. <laughs> yeah, so so that's the that, that's the hardest driving force in, is love. Because God, for God so loved the world, he sent his love, he sent Jesus Christ for each and every single one of you guys. Funny, yeah. From the least, from the person you think is the least to the person you think is the most, he sent for everybody. So my name is Mike Servant. I'm right, right here from Modesto, California. Born and raised. I've been around here in Turlock a, a, a lot too, but uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of my testimony. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so growing up, growing up a, a, as a youngster, I had a pretty decent life. I had mom and dad and a couple of brothers, a lot of friends. But, but watching the, the, these movies, there's these movies I would watch that, that influenced me. And there's some people here that know what these movies are. Boys, Boys in the Hood, Man's to Society, American Me, Bound by Honor, all those movies. And I wanted to be that. That, that, that's what most got my attention. I, I, I was so influenced by that. But going out through all my life, I was everything. I was skateboarding, trying to rap, dance, even <laughs> rave. Did you guys know what raving is? Like, yeah, I, used to, I used to do all that. But the thing that I, the, but, but, but the thing that I became was what most influenced me, and I was this gang member. I tried to live up to what I saw on TV. I tried to be the old dog, the low dog, the, the shot caller. And all that did, all that did was take from me. I thought it was giving me a reputation. I thought it was giving me respect at all. It was taking my freedom. It was taking my friends. It was taking everything. So all you kids here, hey, you guys don't, 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 don't gang bang. Don't think it's cool to be in a big group and hurt people. What you guys do, walk around with a smile. Jesus Christ, if you guys want to, you guys can scream Jesus Christ. You whatever you guys want, but just don't, don't be violent. Be nice. Because a smile will get you through anything. A smile will get you through any gang party. A smile will get you through, through the day. Just of course, and you'll bring a smile to somebody else. So, so growing up, man, I, I, I wanted to be this gang member, and that's what, I, that's what I ended up becoming. Started hurting people, started getting hurt. And then, and then in 1998, I go to prison. I get locked up in prison. I do a couple of years, and then I get out in 2001, and then my brother gets stabbed and killed in the streets. But I was fine with that. Satan had me blind. He had me comfortable thinking, like, that's how I am. I'm a gang member. I cry a little bit, and then I chase him. And, and I, 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 was, I, was, I was trapped like that. I was comfortable. He made me feel like that. That's who I was. But that's what led up to change me right there. That's what was leading up to change me. I was comfortable that living like that. So, so, the, so, so my chains couldn't get broken. But I'm going to tell you when they started getting broken, and a lot of people can feel this right here, is when I started doing them drugs. I started doing them drugs so heavy that I started hearing them and seeing them. And they was coming out of everybody. That was coming out the air. That was coming out my shadow. That was coming out the radio. Jesus Christ. And it started getting really bad when it started coming out the people that I loved. And then when it started coming out of them, I was like, man, what is this? What is this? I could hear the voices so loud. They were so loud in my ears. And, and everybody, everybody was against me. I couldn't talk to you. Why? Because you can read my mind. I couldn't talk to you. Why? Because you're against me. You're the FBI. You're the army. You're the one flying in that helicopter. All that. Been through all that. Everything and and but I couldn't hear God. I couldn't hear God. I could hear all these voices, but I couldn't hear God. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. The little bit you guys know about the Bible, the little bit you guys know about the Bible, it'll minister to you. And what the Bible told me was that God knows everything I'm gonna say before I say it. So when no man, no woman can help me, when I was trying to explain to him, like I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that, they're like, man, you crazy. I was like, no, but I really see that. No, I really hear that. They're really after me. No, you're crazy. And all that would do is make me go more crazy. Because I would tell the people that I love them, you know what they would do? They would send me to other places. They would send me over here. Get out of here. And, tell, and if you got family members coming at you, telling you stuff, and you don't understand, man, don't do that because all you're doing is breaking their heart. 
That's all you're doing is breaking the heart. Because my heart used to get broken every day, telling everybody that I was crazy. That's what they were saying. So this is what told, so the Bible says, it, it, the Bible of God says, he knows everything you're going to say before you say it. So I said, hey, God. I said, I can't hear you, God. I hear all these voices. I see all these demons, but I can't hear you, God. So when I call on you, I'm going to answer for you because you knew I would. Because you said you know everything I'm going to say before I say it. So one day I'm in the middle of the road, and the cars are going by me, worm, worm, and hogging, ah. And I'm hearing these voices, and they're coming out of everywhere. And I don't know if any of you guys ever felt like this, but it feels like they're like crushing you in, and your whole body's like getting tingly. Like, man, where are they coming from? So I scream. And this is why, this is you guys going to know why I scream Jesus Christ. I scream by the top of my lungs. Jesus Christ! I love you, God! And I answer myself back, I love you too, Mike. Because he said he knew I was going to say that. And so that's why I started talking to God. Every time I talk to God, dear God, Jesus Christ, man, help me. And you know, sometimes you get that thought in your mind like I'm here. Instead of just thinking it, I would say it, I'm here. So every good thought I had, I would talk to myself. I would talk to God. Jesus Christ, man, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. I'd think it, and then I would say it. Jesus Christ. So that's how God started beating, beating my demons. That's, that's how he started destroying them. That's how he started pushing them out. And so, so, so the kids can understand this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it this way. So every time I would be afraid or every time I'd hear something, God told me to do this. So if you guys are ever afraid, this is what God told me to do. I hear something. Jesus talks. I'm afraid. Jesus talks. So I would fight it. The name of God is like a sword. Jesus talks. Jesus talks. And then all the angels get up and they all protect all your kids. So if you guys are ever afraid and you guys ever, ever don't know what to do, just scream that name. Jesus talks. And, 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 and God will hear you. And the angels, you, you guys can see them. Just imagine them. Imagine them. They're beautiful. They got big old wings and they're warriors. And, and they'll protect all you kids. So don't be afraid when you call on the name of Jesus Christ. So I started calling on that name and pushing out the demons. And then I get locked up and I go to prison. Now when I go to prison, the drugs started wearing off. And when the drugs started wearing off, the voices started going away. And when their voices started going away, guess what stayed? Jesus Christ! Down right there. The scream stayed. Hallelujah. That scream right there stayed. So it's so simple. It's so simple. I want, I want to let you guys know it's, it's so simple. If you can get it to that simplicity where God can win whatever you're going through with just his name, you don't have to know everything about the Bible. But if you know just his name, it said there's power in the name of God. There's power in the name of Jesus. Speaking Use that. And it'll break any chain Speaking and break any one. addiction. Get you through any type of any type of temptation. Because God loves you guys. Jesus Christ. My name is Mike Servant. I hope you guys understood that. That's right. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We love you, God. We love you, God.